Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode about Cisco Grain Moisture Meter. Today, in this video, we're gonna bring that how to correctly use this handy tool to determine grain moisture content. Before we kick this unit on, let's first install the battery. Like we said in the intro video, this device is powered by a 9 volt battery, and the battery compartment is located round on the back here. Let's slide this back on and put the battery in according to the correct polarity. And then slide the cover back and close it. Now the tester is ready to work. Then we are going to connect the probe to the meter via the USB cable. Then let's turn back to the main unit. As you can see, there are six buttons well laid out in the front and center of this product. From left to right, they include measurement reading hold feature, on off button, backlight switch button, max value hold function, mode button, and humidity slash temperature conversion function. Let's first press the power button to turn the unit on, and the meter will display humidity in percentage by default. And the little number lined vertically on the left side of the zero represents the type of grain to be measured. And to change to different types of grain, you can press the select button to address the grain category, of which 1 represents wheat, 2 is paddy, 3 is rice, and 4 refers to corn. Now, we're going to show you the specific operation procedure using a bag of rice to do an actual measurement. And for better visibility, you can hit the backlight switch button in middle to activate this function and obtain easy to read display on this large LCD screen. Press select to locate the number of the sample to be measured. Rice is coded number 3. Then we're gonna insert the probe into the grain to measure its moisture content. And the meter provides an instantaneous reading which shows 13.0%. Press H slash T button to get into the temperature measurement mode. The default display is in Celsius, and you can press select to toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And pressing this button once again brings you back to the humidity mode. During measurement, if you press max hold key, the screen will display max, and that means the meter will freeze the maximum value on the display, and the record will be updated only when the measured value exceeds the current display value, otherwise it will not be updated. Press the key once again to exit this mode. And there's only one button left to be mentioned, that is the H button for hold function. The screen will display an H when you switch it on, and the measuring result can be frozen on display until another button is pressed. When you finish the measurement, you can power off the meter by pressing the power button. So this is a really handy, easy to use and effective instrument for determining the water content of many grain types. It's very useful if you want to know the quality of your grain. At Cisco, we know for sure that the ability to test grain moisture anywhere quickly and easily is the primary desire for our customers. Therefore, we offer an assortment of portable and reliable tester options that do the job affordably, accurately, and conveniently. The purchase link has been posted in the description below. You can shop for this product from there, and we'll see you next time.